welcome to another vlogmas video today's video is going to be hair themed and i haven't done a hair video in a while um if you haven't seen my hair transformation i highly recommend you go watch it i know right now it probably doesn't look all that different just because of the lighting but i got it like ombre balayage from dark to light and i absolutely love it um, i went to theory salon and abigail actually introduced me to the products i'm going to be talking about today if you guys are new to my channel and if you like hair content give this video a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe it would mean the world to me so today we're going to be talking about the i think it's pronounced oribe or orb I have no idea. In this video, I'm just going to be saying Oribe. Um, these are very luxury, high-end, uh, probably <laughs> the most expensive shampoo that I've ever used and tried out, but I fell in love with it and I'm going to tell you why and how I kind of just like started using them. At the end of September, I had a hair consultation with Abigail because at Theory Salon, they only do consultations before you actually book your real appointment just because they want to get to know your hair, they want to get to know you, they want to see if they can achieve your hair goals and stuff. So I went in for my consultation and she gave me a sample of this Oribe stuff or Orb. I really liked it. I normally don't try out samples just because, I don't know, I'm just so used to what I've always been using, which was the, I think it was pronounced Karenique. I did a video on that last Vlogmas, so that kind of inspired this video. I was like, well, I did a hair shampoo video last year. Might as well keep the tradition going since I'm using a new product. But I was so used to the Karenique and I really liked that. Um, it's actually for like people who are like losing their hair, but I kind of just use it as like a hair treatment and stuff I was in love with that and I got these samples from Abigail at theory and she was like, oh, just try them out and here's another one because the other client that she had a Consultation with forgot it. So she gave me both of them So I was like, all right, I'll just give this a try whatever and I fell in love with the smell and just like the texture of it It smells very clean. It has a little bit of a florally scent if that makes sense. I don't know, it just felt like really rich and like whatever's in this stuff, which I'm sure you can read online, is very um, thick. The consistency is very like smooth is the best way I can put it. I guess like all shampoo is like that, but there's like a thicker substance in this to make it a little bit thicker and I don't know what it is. I ordered both the shampoo and conditioner on Amazon and before I say anything else, I wouldn't recommend buying them on Amazon, but I did. Well, sometimes, at least I've heard this, that when people buy high-end products like hair products on Amazon they come and they're not the real product luckily I haven't had that at least I don't think um, the stuff that I've gotten has always seemed to be legit I'll leave a link to this stuff down below if you want to check it out but if you rather just go to the salon I do suggest that because you never know what you're getting and you kind of have to be careful with it and all the time when I do get this stuff in the mail or whatever I always test out and make sure that like it smells and feels right like it's not too watery or it's not too like dense and stuff I purchased both of them on Amazon not knowing but Again, I haven't had any trouble with it, so it's fine. This stuff is really good too. It is the conditioner. And the line that I use is called the Gold Lust Repair and Restore Shampoo. And the reason why I like this is because it helps damaged hair. And as you guys know, I was like platinum blonde for like almost three years. And my hair got like super damaged. And it's still trying to recover. So I have been using this since October 1st. I wash my hair about two times a week. So just do the math with that. And I absolutely love this stuff. Hands down review, my hair feels like it did before I bleached it and stuff. And my mom even like commented on it that my hair just looks and feels so much healthier. When I came back from the salon, this is the products they use too at the salon that I went to. And she said when I got back, my hair felt like so healthy and it hadn't felt this way in a really, really long time. So I kind of attribute it to these products. I'm going to <laughs> tell you how much each of these costs, which is insane. And I don't know if I'm gonna be using this super long term just because of the price. Each one of these is around $50. So like combine, this is like a hundred dollar shampoo, which is insane. But I was reading up on this brand and the reason why it's so expensive is because whoever, the person that created this wanted it to be like the highest end. They wanted it to feel like the packaging to feel like luxurious. They wanted to develop like the best hair products out there and I think they really did but that's why it costs so much. So the conditioner itself costs $52 on Amazon, which is 
insane, I know. And then the shampoo, which comes in this kind of little bottle. I still have a lot of shampoo in here. It's kind of like probably to that level. I don't, I don't really know because I can't see in the bottle. But the shampoo costs $49 on Amazon. I've definitely seen a huge difference in my hair and I will put before and after pictures on the screen right now so you guys can see the difference. If you guys can see, I can feel it and I think that's all that matters. I know that sounds cheesy, and I don't know, you can believe me or not, but here is the front view of my hair before I started using the shampoo and then until now. So on the left is before I started using it and on the right is after I started using it. Here is the side view and here is the behind, which the behind you can kind of see like a little crease in my hair and I don't know why it just does that when it dries naturally and both of these photos were taken after the shower when my hair is a little bit air dried out and stuff. Overall, I feel a huge difference in my hair. I see a difference. I don't know if you can see a difference, um, but I definitely love these two products so much. The only negative is the price. I think they're way overly priced for what you get, but you are paying for whatever ingredients is in this, which I don't really know. I got my hair done on October 30th, and then after I got my hair done, I was at the salon and she suggested this Oribe Moisture Control Deep Treatment Mask for my hair, and I use this about every two weeks. It's in this really, like, luxurious packaging like it's I don't know it's kind of intense here um I don't think they needed to put it in this like sort of designed uh packaging but I must say it looks really nice it smells so good it smells like a cream well I mean it is obviously a cream but I'm just saying like it smells like creamy not too strong oh I just dropped it and I think I got a discount on this. So this was like, I wanna say it was like $60. But the only thing is you only use like a little bit and you put it on the ends like your neck down. So you're not really using a whole lot of the product. So this will last me for like, I'm assuming over a year, which is probably not good for over a year, but I'm just probably still gonna use it because it costs so much money and a little bit goes a long way. Do I recommend getting this? Probably not, like, I don't know, that sounds bad. Given my hair condition, it's very like it's very damaged and stuff that's why I was just like okay I'll get it but I don't necessarily think this is something that you need in your hair regimen because it's really expensive I honestly think <laughs> this helped clog my drain more because I just had to clean out my drain from becoming clogged and this stuff is so thick that I think that this like helped clog my my tub which I'm not trying to blame the product but like I'm low-key blaming it because I just think that that's what happened. So I don't know if I would like really recommend this product. I do like it though. Um, but I definitely recommend trying these out. Like I know it's really expensive. Just give it a try because your hair will be super, super soft and there's no parabens, there's no sulfates. So it's very healthy for your hair and it doesn't like harm your hair. I even would use these if sometime you had to wash your hair like two times in a row. I don't think this would be like terrible to use two times in a row because of like what's in the products and how it treats your hair. So I'm gonna stop rambling now about the products. Um, the downside is the price and that this thing I think clogged my drain. Um, other than that, I think the products are A plus, even giving them on Amazon. I was really lucky and I actually bought these two products again on Amazon and they seem pretty legit. So I've just been lucky and I just recommend trying it out if you can. Uh, leave in the comments down below. The question of the day is what shampoo do you use? Um, I would love to know. If you guys have any recommendations for like blue shampoos, I would really want to know what you use because um, I really want to get into using a blue shampoo one of these days, but it can't have sulfates and it can't like be purple because purple gives you more of a gray tone when blue gives you more of a white tone. Anyway, um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.